Hey, there we go. Hey, how done, buddy Isaac here. Man, what a week. It has been a week, I'm telling you. I got to fix this camera. I got my tripod a little bit low this morning because uh, I got a little bit different filming location. And, uh, hang on a minute. That's good. Uh, can't really uh, go film in my usual spot due to a tick infestation. So, uh, we're uh, working on that right now. Well, what a week in the news. <laughs> Have y'all been watching the news like, well, there's some pretty serious stuff going on down in Florida, and I'll tell you about that here in just a minute. I'm excited about it. But first of all, let's get to the obvious. Did you know in Africa in 2013, this guy was sitting there looking at this map for the satellite picture. He found an entire rainforest just hidden in the middle of the desert. An entire rainforest. 14 new species of animals were discovered. One of them was a, a pretty aggressive, uh, what would you call it? Kind of like an orangutan. And I said it running around on two feet, and it was really aggressive when you got close to it. Well, that brings me back to the possibility that Sasquatch is real. Well, I say possibility. I know it's real, but I, you know, I ran across something one time, convinced me. But, but that's what I'm saying. If they can discover an entire rainforest out in the middle of the desert, that's like a fly in a bowl of milk. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Why ain't somebody seen it before? So they're still they're still exploring this thing, and may even be more species of animals out there. But I think it's pretty cool that they can find something like it. But you know, they say it's what's running around here. I believe that. Now, I don't know if y'all have seen the news or not, but in Florida, I seen this on the news. A woman had her security camera on behind her house, right? And you can go online and you can Google this and you can watch it for yourself. I'm not here to push any uh, to push anything on anybody. That's y'all's point of view. But she captured what appeared to be a small dinosaur running across her backyard. Okay, well, so I said, really? I gotta watch this. So anyway, when the camera starts up, when the security camera actually starts, because you know they don't start until they say movement. I know. And uh, when this thing started, it was turned. Well, let me turn this way. It was turned looking back like this when the lights come on. When the lights come on, it was turned up because you could see its eyes. It turns around, put its head down, its tail went up in the air, and it sprinted across the backyard out of the camera. Now. I watched this several times, <sighs> and uh, I've come to a conclusion. It was definitely a dinosaur. It had to be, because if you watch this video, you'll see for yourself. You got to just go on there and Google up, uh, Google Florida dinosaur caught on security camera, and, and and you'll see it. You make your own decision. I ain't trying to push nothing on anybody, but to me, it looks like a dinosaur. Like a raptor, actually, and that's dangerous. Up the hill here, <laughs> you know, raptors, huh? It's gonna make me look over my shoulder. Up the hill here, about uh, one day this week, about, well, one day this past week, my brothers and uh, up there at, uh, where you turn onto the road at, they actually seen a, uh, they said it was about this tall, it was white, had white, well, not really hot. Quiet, it had blonde hair, but the blonde hair covered it, almost like Cousin It. It turned around, run down the yard, into the woods. I said, well, there are a lot of strange things happens down here. My daughter said she seen something come up through here one time. She was up here on the, up here at the farm. And she was looking down the hill, and something come up through on all fours, big arch in its back, didn't have a hair on it, and she said the face almost looked like a human. Run up through here. Looked at him, ran over the hill. Ken Walker? Who knows? But I think if I think here's my point. 
if they can go out there and they can find a big old rainforest out in the middle of a desert, why can't they be something like that running around out here in the woods of eastern Kentucky? Or anywhere in the world, as a matter of fact. I seen something one time. Now, what I seen with my imagination, I had two witnesses, two witnesses with me. So, got them over the hill there, as a matter of fact. But I don't think it's aggressive. Or I think it would have come after us, but it didn't come after us. Whether it was maybe somebody just trying to scare us off, I don't know. But I definitely seen something. But now we're hearing noises down here come out the other day. I actually got me a good light set up down here now. One day this week, we're going to come out here, and we're going to spend about 15, 20 minutes, and we're going to see if we can hear this thing. We heard it the other night down over the hill here. sounded awful. Almost scared me. So, but we're going to come down here by myself. I don't want nobody with me, because more than likely, if you're going to see something, you're going to see it by yourself, right? Because how many times have you went out and you've seen something, you didn't have a camera, you didn't have nobody with you, you didn't have no witnesses. I know I have. But I actually had I actually had two witnesses with me that time that I seen what I seen. And they seen the same thing I did. But my point is there's a possibility for anything. Anything can be out there in this world. This world is huge. There's parts of this world that's never even been touched by human beings. There's there's places out there that nobody don't even know exist. Matter of fact, they found a they found a, a uh, ancient city in the middle of a rainforest here not too long ago. They found temples. They found a temple sticking up through the tops of trees. They didn't know it was there. They knew the place was there. Because I'm gonna tell you something. When you're in an airplane or a helicopter and you're flying by, I think you're gonna see a temple sticking up over the trees. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying the possibilities there. I ain't trying to force anybody to believe anything, but I do. I need to be one of these big expeditionists. I would love it, people. I'd be like, do you see that? What is that? I don't know. But it's coming this way. I'm going that way. You know what I mean? So. But yeah, I just felt like talking today, so I, did, I ain't got no test or, or no bug spray that I've made or anything like that. That's some wild strawberries. Are they wrapped? Oh, man. They ain't wrapped yet. There's strawberries on them. I'll be eating them in about three weeks. They're blaming. Hey, about a month, eh? Huh. Go get me some corn put out. Pretty excited about this week coming up because uh, I could uh, possibly have some time to do a lot more videos. So, pretty excited about that. And go do some nighttime videos. We're going to try my new lights out. So, got a pretty good setup with these lights down here now. So, hopefully, it, this camera will pick it up. If it won't pick it up, this will. My phone, it's got a night thing, night vision thing on it. It's pretty good. So, but my daughter, she's got the phone was a lot higher than mine was, but hers don't do half what mine does. And I and I like to rub it in, but I think it's funny. But anyway, I'm gonna get up off here. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta get me some taters here in a minute. And come back down here and see if I can't do something with them and. Just gonna kind of chill out today and just enjoy the outside. I think it's supposed to be close to 65, 70 degrees today. We just come out of, a, I think it was dogwood winter that we just come out of, that we're coming out of. And uh, we still got blackberry winter and all that stuff to go. And uh, y'all take care of each other and be safe. And I figured I'd get on here and run my mouth for a few minutes today. Hopefully y'all enjoy seeing this kind of stuff and, and hearing me talk about this. and. Like I said before, if you're looking at this camera and you're saying, look at this idiot, that means you're forgetting what's going on in the world, and I'm doing my job. Y'all wash them hands like you don't like them, social distance like Sasquatch, and I'm out.